It's time to go to the design center to pick out everything that will go in your new home. But the thought of it is so overwhelming. Let's talk about it. It's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with EXP Realty, and today we are going to talk about how to tackle the design center appointment when you are building a new construction home. I will tell you, it can be an overwhelming process, but I want to share my personal experience plus the experience that I've had with clients to hopefully help you. But before I do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Where's it coming? It's right there. That way you will be notified every time I post a video. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and follow your girl on social media. At Instagram, I am Rosemary the Realtor, and you should be able to find me on Facebook just by typing in my name, Rosemary Lewis. So, I've shared with you all before that I too built my home, and although I've done it countless times with clients, that design center appointment can be a little overwhelming. So I'm gonna share with you a few tips that I learned along the way and that I share with my clients as they prepare for that appointment. So my very first tip is always going to be set a budget. No, really, set a budget. Because when you go into the design center appointment, everything has a dollar sign attached to it. So you want to be clear before you get all emotional and caught up in the day that you have an exact budget in mind that you are not going to go over. And this is what I mean. Um, I want you to go as far as to have a conversation with your lender if you are going to be financing a home to say, if I spend, if I end up at this number, what would that mortgage amount be? Because again, we want to make sure that you are clear on the mortgage amount and all of those little goodies that you add to at the design center will add on to that number, okay? So set a budget. So if, for instance, if you know that going to the design center, the cost of your home is 600,000 and under no circumstances do you want to mortgage more than 635,000, that means that you have a strict $35,000 budget to stick to at the design center. It can be done, I'm letting you know, you can do it. Okay, here's my second piece of advice. I want you to familiarize yourself with as many model homes and as many inventory homes by that builder as you can. What's the point of that? I want you to do your research because when you walk into the different homes, you might say, oh my gosh, I really like that granite. I really like that light fixture. You may come to a style of cabinet that you like. This way, you can do one of two things. It'll save time on your appointment because you already know what you like and you may even be able to start gathering prices for those things if you know those are the specific things that you're going to look for. So the best thing is to walk other homes that that builder has done because you know what design elements they have available and you can see it all put together in a home. Here is my third piece of advice. Ask to see the standard option before you ask to see the upgraded options. Now, I was with one of my clients before and this is how she played the game. Before they showed her anything um, that would have added to her budget, anything that would have added to the total cost of the home, she asked to only see the standard um, the standard option first. That way, if she did not like the standard option, then she would ask to see the upgraded options. But if she was okay with the standard options, then she ended up going with that. That way she wasn't confused. She already knew that she was okay with the standard before seeing something that would take her out of the budget realm of where she wanted to be. My next suggestion, have a conversation with the other person that's buying the house with you. Talk about what your non-negotiables are so that you all both are on the same page. Now I'm gonna tell you, this may be a contentious conversation, okay? You all may have heated debates about what you all feel is important, but we wanna have those conversations before you get to the appointment so that when you get to the appointment, you're very clear on what matters to the other person so there won't be a knockdown, drag out 
there at the appointment. All right, and here is my last piece of advice when you go to the design center. This is your home, so you want to be happy there, but you don't have to be house poor in order to do it. But I also don't want you to skimp out on the things that really matter to you. That's why it's really important to take some time and decide what are the things that are going to be really important to make that house a home and feel free to get those things as long as they are respectful of your budget. And there are lots of things that your real estate agent should be able to share with you that you can upgrade after the fact. My um, biggest piece of advice that I offer to my clients is to go ahead and put those upgrades in those major areas for those major structural changes and the little things like light fixtures, mirrors, paint on the wall, you can change that yourself. I hope that this all was helpful and if you ever have any other topics that you would like me to discuss as it relates to real estate, go ahead and put it in the comment box. And if you are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and want to talk about your options or you need an advocate with you when you select your new build, my information is in the description box.